Welcome back everyone to another lunch with Joe Stunner Boxing. I'm getting very middle aged, um, well no, very middle class in my middle age because when I, where I come from it's normally breakfast, dinner and tea. I'm working with all these, you know, college educated, university educated, fringe of the middle class people. I now call it lunch instead of dinner. What a sellout. Anyway, let's talk some boxing, shall we? Um, at the weekend, as you probably know, sushi, ooh, nice. As you probably know, um, <clears throat> Danny Jacobs won a very contentious split decision. No, he didn't. John Ryder won a very content contentious split decision victory over Danny Jacobs. And having watched other people's videos and read things and so on and so forth, most people, 95%, 98% of people seem to think that Jacobs was quote-unquote robbed, or he should have won anyway. Now, I concur, not with the robbery, I've seen worse, but it was a pretty bad decision. But, I watched it twice, that fight. The first time I scored it 116-112, the second time I scored it 115-113. And that was giving Ryder everything I possibly could. You know, like 50-50 rounds. I was thinking, okay, I'll give it to Ryder. I cannot understand how anyone could say that Ryder won seven rounds out of 12. I just don't see it. Now, now Teddy Atlas once said, there's only two reasons for a, a bad decision. One is incompetence, and the other is corruption. Now, corruption, incompetence, which one of those is it? Or is it both? Maybe it's both. I have a theory, and I've heard people say some very similar things since that decision, that the zone because they have not got the subscribers that they wanted, the amount of subscribers, the zone is, it's, if it's not struggling, it hasn't achieved what it's set out to achieve at this point in time, internationally or in, within the UK. And Eddie Hearn, I've always thought that he spreads himself very thin. He signs up a lot of fighters. And sometimes his ambition gets ahead of him. So when you currently think of DAZN, I mean, I know DAZN has this billion dollar war chest, literally a billion dollars. At some point, that's going to have to, that's going to be spent and they're going to have to make some sort of decision about how they spend their money instead of just throwing it around like confetti. The same is true with PBC. Because they signed up, God knows how many fighters, what, 10 years ago, 12, 8, 10 years ago? And everything was free to air, terrestrial television. But they lost money. They weren't making a profit. Hence, they now have all sorts of pay-per-views, which are definitely not pay-per-view worthy. I, I don't believe in pay-per-view anyway, but... And the same thing, I think DAZN in the same boat they may well they're certainly going to do pay-per-views but the point is if they if they have these aging fighters like Danny Jacobs who is a still an, a recognized international world-class boxer and therefore demands quite high purses the flip side of that is you've got John Ryder who is who has got five defeats on his record? He's called a European level fringe world contender. I mean, he's, I think he's a good fighter, John Ryder. Yeah, right. We'll call him. We'll call him top top fifteen. But he's less of a name, and he commands less money purse wise. So, is it possible, without sounding too conspiratorial, is it possible that Eddie Hearn and DeZone are how can I say this quietly? content that Jacobs lost 
and therefore his stock is lowered and they don't have to continue to pay him high purses. Whereas Ryder, even though his stock has risen, he's still a far less expensive proposition. Because I think DAZN are going to look at their older fighters and try and put them out to pasture to make, new, to make space for the new ones. They just haven't got this bottomless wallet, this bottomless pit of money, even though they've got a lot of money. As with PBC, they're in danger of the whole thing becoming, you know, they're bleeding money. It can't go on forever. So I think it's possible. Again, I don't want to sound conspiratorial because I kind of usually hate the conspiracy theorist mentality. Those people who can't tell the difference between being sceptical and being fucking paranoid. Two very different things, but some people cross that line. But having said that, I do wonder whether DAZN and Hearn and Matrum are looking quietly to get rid of the older, expensive fighters and bring in the, the younger, less expensive fighters, simply because Matchroom and DAZN can't go on as, the, as they have done. Um, I mean, DAZN last week said they're going to pay $84, $85 million for two Canelo fights against relatively unattractive opponents. Dimitri Bivol, good fighter, but, you know, not the most exciting guy, and a third fight with Golovkin. 85 million, really? I did a video on this, but... Well, someone's got to pay for that. And if DAZN is still throwing their money, Matchroom are throwing their money at older fighters who don't have a lot of options. I mean, even if even if Jacobs won, or he should have won. I actually predicted that fight. I said it would be a hard-fought points win for Jacobs. And it was, but he didn't get the decision. Even if he'd won, where would he have gone from there? What options would he have had? He would have had some, but again, probably not ones that would that are financially viable. Probably not ones that will, you know, warrant him being paid. Well, he's previously been paid. He's fought Golovkin and he's fought Canelo anyway. And he's got a lot of money. So I think the defeat was, I think you have to ask a question about that decision. Because it did seem rather peculiar. And I have no idea what the two judges who voted for Ryder were looking at. I like John Ryder. I think he beat Callum Smith. But I don't think I don't think he beat Jacobs. I didn't give Jacobs a round. I, I didn't give um, Ryder a round. Until I'm, the sixth was kind of even-ish. I, thought, I even thought Jacobs won the first. Not by doing much, but Ryder did nothing. But the, the first six rounds, you have any case of the first six rounds going to to uh, Jacobs? So the, the next six, Ryder rallied. Seven, eight, nine, I thought were his. 10, 11, 12, the championship rounds. Pick them, wouldn't it? But no, nah, I don't think Ryder won that fight. Anyway, what do you think? Do you think that DAZN are trying to put certain people out of the way? the expensive older ones, bringing in the newer, less expensive ones, building them up. They've got to at some point save money. But what do you think? Do you think I'm just, as I used to say when I lived in Alabama, am I just whistling Dixie? Or am I talking sense? As long as you're respectful, you can say that I'm talking bollocks. I don't mind. Um, leave your comments below. And as usual, thank you very much for taking your time to listen to this video, watch this video. If you could subscribe, hit the subscribe button. It's free. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, like the video, share the video, whatever. But thanks for your time. I'm going to finish my dinner now. I hope you have a nice day. Speak soon. Much love.